All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna talk a lot about the face angle and what that does in the swing, how we can get those nice square shots and really just start cranking those balls out there just straight as a laser. Uh, first, before we get into that, I wanna talk about where we're really going with this. What is the most important part for the face angle to be good in the swing? And that's coming into contact. So as I'm about halfway into my downswing, what I'd like to have happening here is instead of this face being wide open like this and having to square up very late and a lot of different changes in the face angle, I could hit one way to the right, I could hit one way to the left. What I'd like to have is that face to square up a little bit sooner and then from there for me to hit that ball nice and square. So if you'll notice from this slow motion video you're watching right now, you'll see that face starts to square up a little bit earlier and then nice and square through the shot and it's going right down the middle of the fairway, hitting really well with that. That's the end goal. We want to eliminate a lot of this extra rotation with the face coming through contact. And obviously we want to have that face nice and square as we're actually hitting the ball and that ball flight is going to therefore be really, really straight. So if that's our end goal, that's what we're going for. Let's talk about how the rest of the swing affects this. And we'll start out here by just taking a look at your left hand. And a lot of people don't realize this, but the back of your left hand really symbolizes where the club face is. So if I have a neutral grip, that means I could take my club head like this, back of my left hand, the logo of my glove would be pointing straight up and so would the face. That would be pretty neutral grip. That would be something that you'd see kind of along the lines of what Tiger Woods uses or some other pros out there with a neutral grip. Ben Hogan would be, maybe even be a little bit less than that. Some players use a little bit of a stronger grip too and that's okay. So if you're looking at Dustin Johnson or, or players that have this hand turned more to the right, so now I can see all these knuckles as I'm looking down. If I'm to hold my hand straight up toward the sky there, look how that face is closed. So that's very important to know if you're trying to make your hand look a certain way and the face look a certain way, depending on how you grip the club, it's gonna be a little bit different and that's okay. We'll go over that here again at contact later in this video. But let's assume I have this neutral grip. Now, you're gonna hear some pros tell you that you need to match this club face, the, the leading edge of this face with your spine angle in the takeaway. And then you're gonna have some pros tell you that you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and let that rotate open a little bit. To be honest, I have no idea how that makes any difference in the golf swing. It really just doesn't make any sense to me because we all pretty much agree that somewhere at the top of the swing, it needs to be in a different orientation. So it doesn't really matter if you take it back closed or open, it matters where we go from there. So as we get to the top of the swing, what most players are gonna to wanna to tell you is that that left forearm and the club face and your left wrist are all gonna match up and be nice and square. So if I'm looking at my swing at the top, all those lines are kind of nice and square. What I might prefer that players do is have that nice and square, or we could have that a little bit shut. So as we go to the top, that left wrist is a little bit bowed. That club face is already squaring up a little bit. And again, the reason for this is, as we start down, that club face is starting to square up to the ball earlier. What I don't want to have happen is at the top of the swing, have this left wrist really cupped and then leave it cupped as I start down because now look at that face, it is wide open and I'm gonna really have to change the angle of that as I'm coming through contact to get that face to square up. So I don't really care too much about the takeaway because no matter where this is, it's gonna change after that. And even at the top of the swing, you could have a little bit more cupped wrist like Hogan, you could have a bowed wrist like Dustin Johnson, but all those players are gonna have that face starting to square up halfway down. This is the real key to this. If you wanna have that face square through contact, you wanna be very consistent in golf, I can't have this face wide open like this on my downswing. So if I'm coming into the downswing, my face is wide open, my left wrist is cupped, man, I'm toast. I'm really gonna have a tough time to, to square it up. So I want you to pause right here in the downswing. I want you to do a little drill for me. Since this is the part that really matters, let's go ahead and come halfway down, face straight up and down, and then I want you to rotate that down as much as you can. Do that about five times. And all I'm doing here is I'm taking this club and I'm twisting that grip to square up the face a little bit more early. That's the feeling. A slight bit of that is what I'm gonna have in the downswing. So you can see that face isn't open, it's square or a little bit closed down. That's the feeling I'm gonna have in my downswing to get that consistency and to get that face to square up. The second piece I want you to do is a pause at impact. And now I'm gonna have that leading edge square with the ball. I can feel like I'm just gonna crank that thing right down the middle of the fairway. And then in the finish, we're gonna go ahead and let that release. So after contact, that face will be turning on over and releasing through the ball. Now, one thing to know here, we are trying to square that face up early. So we're eliminating the amount of flipping and rotation going on, but there's always gonna be a little bit of closing of that club face coming through contact. And that's with every single person that's ever played. 
The heel of the club, on average, it moves about 12 miles an hour, 10 to 14 miles an hour slower than the toe. So that toe is always gonna be releasing, and that's why it's a little easier to get some more speed if you make contact slightly on the toe. That's gonna to help to get you a few extra yards, two or three, five extra yards on there. So even if we are trying to square this face up early, realize the face still is releasing. It's still turning on over. I don't wanna to try to hold this thing off or I'm gonna get a lot of slices. I wanna go ahead, square it up early, and then let it go ahead and release. So to recap here, in the takeaway, we could have a variety of different takeaways. The face could be there, the face could be here. Personally, I like to go ahead and let it open up in the takeaway. I like to go ahead and have this nice and flat at the top. Those are all fine, but the real key, I've got to start squaring that up in my downswing, square up through contact and let that face turn on over and release as I'm coming through to my finish. So work on that drill, 10 repetitions, squaring that face up 10 times. Then I'm gonna go to the ball and then I'm gonna make that into a fluid practice swing where I'm just recreating that same feeling over and over. Once I get comfortable with that, let's go on out to the driving range, go out to the course. Let's start ripping those balls straight as a string. Oh yeah, crush that one. Best of luck guys, I'll see y'all soon. Hey guys, hope y'all enjoyed this video and that's got you squaring up the face where it's most important coming through contact. Well, I've got a really easy drill to help you to do that. It's called the tennis racket drill. And once you start to see how that tennis racket can work in the downswing, man, it makes it easy to square up that face. I'm gonna play a preview of that video here in a second. Just go ahead and click the I card somewhere on your screen or the link down below in the description. You'll get instant access to that video and it's gonna make it very simple for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Good player problems. We're gonna talk about shallowing that club shaft out as we're starting down, as we're doing this rotating of the face that we worked, about, worked on in the last video. As we start this downswing, what you'll see with, with basically all uh, of the, the top players is instead of coming kind of over the top and letting the hands come out away from their body, letting the club come out away from their body, again, coming down steep into the ball and then having to open up, kind of fillet open the face and add loft to it, the flattening of the shaft should happen as soon as we start down. So as we start this downswing, what we want to have happening here, you can imagine that if I draw a line from the hosel of my club up through my right elbow, that's my swing plane line, my elbow plane. As I go to the top of the swing, I'm going to be slightly above that. And then as I start down, I want my hands to start to shallow out. I want the club to shallow out inside of this elbow plane. And at the same time, I'm going to be rotating my hands.